today, Career Services brings you some information on thank you letters. Why is it important to write a thank you letter? When you write a thank you note after an interview, you gain yet another opportunity to influence your potential employer's decision. If you write a thank you note, you can reiterate your interests and qualifications for the position. Aside from showing common courtesy, a thank you note serves other purposes, such as increasing your salary. According to a recent study, 63% of recruiters said they'd be more likely to hire a candidate who asked for more money and sent a thank you note than a candidate who asked for less but did not send a thank you note. Additionally, failure to follow up could leave the impression that you're not interested enough to go the extra mile and reach out afterward. It's a basic appreciation of the time the interviewer spent with you. It's a signal to the interviewer that you are aware of higher level interpersonal skills. The thank you note expresses your ongoing interest in the organization and the job opening. Sending a thank you note could show that you know other proper business etiquette, like standing when a client enters the room, not chewing gum in front of the CEO, holding doors open for others, arriving to meetings on time, and dressing appropriately. Following up with an email should be done within 24 hours of the interview while you're still fresh and the interview is mine. Keep the contents of the email brief, no more than two to three paragraphs, and reference particular points from the conversation. As a former hiring manager, I remember a candidate who went the extra mile in mentioning personal details from the interview. For example, I briefly discussed my hometown, but was amazed how the candidate remembered my hometown and found a way to include it in his follow-up letter. He said his brother would be passing through my town, so he made sure to tell him to pick up a cake from the popular bakery there. This has not only showed me that he was a good listener, but also he was willing to go above and beyond by doing his research. What should you include in your thank you letter? It's important to include a subject line so the hiring manager can quickly refer back to the meeting with you. Include a personalized greeting, a note of appreciation, a recap of your qualifications, prompt to take the next action step, and contact information. It's important that you list the subject line so that the hiring manager knows exactly um, the reference point for the thank you letter. Be sure to include a salutation on your cover letter. It's a personalized greeting. Even if you have been referring to the interview in a more casual way, in a thank you letter, use the more formal form of address. It's important to include a note of appreciation, a sincere and specific expression of appreciation along with a concise description of what is being appreciated. Remind them of something unique that they spoke to you about in the interview and that they may not have discussed with other candidates. This will help the interviewer remember who you are and also close with a final expression of gratitude. It's important to recap your qualifications. Confirm you're a good fit for the role in the organization. Close with a final expression of gratitude. For example, after our conversation, I am confident that my skills and abilities in business writing and experience as a copy editor are a great match for this opportunity. It's important to prompt to take the next step. For example, you may want to include something like this in your cover letter. I am very enthusiastic about the possibility of joining your team and would greatly appreciate a follow-up as you move forward with the hiring process. It's important for you to provide your contact information. Listing your contact information in your email can make it easier for the hiring manager to contact you for additional steps. Include both your email address and phone number uh, below your closing to streamline the hiring process. 